Well, Chafed Elbows is like a Marx Brothers movie that has Lenny Bruce language in it, which is the way it connects. It's farcical, and yet it tries to make little points as it goes along. The main point being, if you're uh, psychologically hung up on your mother, if you went to bed with her, you'd get over it in a hurry, quick. And I think so much money is wasted on psych psychiatry where uh, if you can look at a film that shows that like everybody has fears and if you can like laugh at them, you can, you can do what you have to do. You got any reaction, public reaction? Oh, sure. I've had uh, in New York, the, uh, some mother's association called me and sa said, how dare you say that a man could marry his mother and sleep with her? And I said, go see the movie. I mean, she's wearing jump boots and a wig and she has a psychedelic tattoo. I mean, you can't take this seriously. If you do, you're a nitwit, you know? Is there not enough humor in the American society? Uh, that's where it is. I really think that's what's wrong. You know, if everybody could get turned on to not taking themselves too seriously and having a sense of humor about themselves, I think we could get over a lot of things that we take very, very seriously. We could approach the serious matters in a different way, like war and poverty and all the things that are going on. But as far as a war goes, I feel Eisenhower was our best president. He didn't do anything. It was fantastic. For eight years, he did nothing but play golf, you know? And the country was fantastic. He got us out of the Korean War, and he started the civil rights legislation. golf? I don't know what he did, but man, he didn't do anything. We were out of the Korean War, and he started the civil rights legislation. I think Kennedy was a great man because, again, Kennedy had a sense of humor. As you know, his press conferences were a delight. Mm. But this guy's, you know, death on wheels. Johnson. Forget it, man. Nothing. Mm -hmm. His sense of humor is nowhere, you know. Absolutely nowhere, and that's what's wrong. Any aspirations of uh, Hollywood? Oh, I've had offers. Um, mm. The most recent one was somebody wanted me to d direct a film with Cliff Robertson. It's all about a trolley car in San Francisco. It was so absurd and meaningless. It gave me great pleasure to tell the Hollywood producers exactly what I thought of it. Now, I write my own stuff, and I think that's where films are. Real filmmakers are the people that want to write and do their own films.